Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important problem from a domain of functions, right? So here we have a very interesting function here f of x is equal to sine inverse and we have a log of x to the base 2 plus pi, right? So here uh, we'll see how we can find out uh, the domain of this function f of x. So let us start. So viewers, this is a very easy problem and uh, in order to get the domain of this function, uh, we have some simple concepts, right? So uh, we can easily apply the concepts and we can uh, arrive at the domain of this function. So let us take uh, this uh, quantity as theta, right? So if we assume theta is equal to log of x to the base 2 plus pi, then our function, uh, it assumes the form uh, sine inverse theta, right? And from uh, inverse trigonometric functions, we know that uh, the range of sine inverse theta is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, right? Where this theta, uh, it belongs to the interval uh, that is from minus 1 to 1. And we can also write this theta as theta uh, greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to 1. Right? So this is the key concept uh, which is used uh, to find out the domain of this function. So now uh, we'll start with uh, this inequality. Right? So here uh, our theta is uh, logarithm of x to the base 2 plus pi. So let us substitute this value of theta in this inequality. So we'll get minus 1 and then we have a log of x to the base 2 plus pi and here we have 1 right so now our aim is to solve this inequality uh, to get the domain of f of x right and here uh, we have a logarithm of x to the base 2 so we can easily uh, conclude that uh, this x should be uh, greater than a zero right so this x has to be uh, positive and uh, this x cannot be a zero or a negative number right so uh, this is one thing so let us uh, solve this inequality so what we will do here uh, let us subtract a uh, pi uh, throughout this inequality so we have minus one minus pi and then we have log of x to the base 2 plus pi minus pi and here we have 1 minus pi, right? So we can now write minus 1 minus pi and here we have this pi and this pi get cancelled. So we have log of x to the base 2, then we have 1 minus pi, right? So starting from this inequality, we have reached this inequality. Right now to uh, get rid of this log, what we will do, uh, we'll raise uh, these three terms to the power of two, right? Because here we have the base two. So we'll uh, raise each term to the power of two. So we have two raised to minus one minus pi. Then we have two raised to uh, log of x to the base two. And here we have two raised to 1 minus pi right and remember uh, here we have an important uh, thing to note uh, when we raise uh, these three terms to the power of 2 the uh, direction of the inequality uh, doesn't change because uh, the exponential function is an increasing function right so now uh, we can write 2 raised to minus 1 minus pi and here uh, we can use an important result from uh, simple algebra uh, that is 2 raised uh, here we can write uh, say a raised to a log of uh, x to the base a is equal to uh, x right so this is an important uh, result right so here uh, we have uh, the value of a as 2 
so uh, we can now write it as x because 2 raised to log x to the base 2 is equal to x due to this result. So now we have here uh, 2 raised to uh, 1 minus pi, right? So we have uh, reached this inequality and this inequality suggests that uh, the value of x should lie between uh, these two numbers uh, including uh, both these numbers, right? So the interval is closed. So we can now write x belonging to the interval that is 2 raised to minus 1 minus pi and here we have 2 raised to 1 minus pi and we can also express this interval as 1 over 2 raised to pi plus 1 and here uh, we can also write it as 1 over uh, 2 raised to uh, pi minus 1 right so this is the uh, required uh, domain of this function f of x. So now let us quickly uh, see the nature of these two numbers. See here we have uh, 1 over uh, 2 raised to pi plus 1. Now see uh, here pi is a positive number and uh, we have pi plus 1 is always greater than 0. Right? So it implies that this number that is 1 over 2 raised to pi plus 1 is always going to be uh, greater than 0. So this number is a positive number. right? And similar is the case with this number. Uh, see here we have 1 over 2 raised to pi minus 1 and pi minus 1 is again uh, greater than 0 because pi is approximately 3.14. So when 3.1, when we subtract 1 from 3.14, then we get a positive number. So whenever uh, 2 is raised to some positive number, uh, this entire number is going to be greater than 0, right? So this number is uh, also uh, positive, right? So uh, this domain uh, fulfills our this condition that uh, this x should be uh, greater than 0 or it should be a positive number, right? So this is an important point to note. So viewers, whenever we come across with these type of problems related to finding out the domain of functions, uh, we can uh, easily uh, apply uh, these simple uh, concepts.